in L.A., Jews had no places to go. All the places they ate were pastrami sandwiches and matzo ball. And the whole point was to take the whole cuisine to another level to be able to accommodate all the Hollywood stars, all the directors and pr producers, for them to be able to dine and have the experience that they could get it anywhere else in a hot place in L.A. where sexy woman, a hot crowd. We brought them a whole different level, such as Brett Ranner, all the other, a lot of producers, or Spielberg, that come often here and they dine and they enjoy it so much that they can't believe it's kosher, and that was the whole purpose. Uh, a rabbi at a restaurant called the Muskiach, he supervises, he makes sure that, the, that there's adherence to the kosher dietary laws. Um, practically at a restaurant that involves doing things like checking the ingredients to make sure they have the proper supervision symbols on them, on the packages, he checks the vegetables for insects, uh, he checks the liquor in the bar to make sure all those items are kosher. A lot of places are modern, they look cheap. This one looks really stylish and elegant, and it costed more money than any other restaurant we ever built. One of the things that makes the steakhouse today work much better than the steakhouse of the past is that women love to come to the LA steakhouse of today. If you walk around our restaurant, you will see groups of women throughout the entire dining room. And if you think about the old steakhouses of old, they were tended to be like men's clubs, dark woods, big thick leather chairs, not very necessary contemporary or cosmopolitan. Well, you know, you think because wherever you go in the world, uh, everybody looks uh, to LA in many different reasons because you have all the celebrities, you have people traveling in from all over the world. It's a central part that people really do like to be in the glamour, in the lifestyle of the rich and famous and everything else. And that, you know, it's literally wherever you go, you can go into the Woodies, into Costa Rica in the rainforest, you tell them LA. They're like, yeah, I know, it's all about the fame and the glam and everything else. And I think even that New York tries to get it off from us, it's when it comes back to LA, it's only one in, uh, the only one in the world. The issue is that it is increasing the rates of those cancers by 30 to 40 percent when meat consumption is at even two or three times a month. The problem is no one knows, there's no conclusive evidence as to how much red meat you have to have in order to increase your chances.
a 32 ounce piece of ribeye steak will cost you about 2,000 calories and anywhere from 100 to 130 grams of fat, which is about a day's worth of calories and two days worth of fat. And the other unfortunate thing about that is that type of fat is at least 50% saturated, which is the worst type of fat, which is what's causing these diseases. Beautiful, what a house, look at that.